good morning guys uh, today I'm putting in at st. Mary's I usually don't put in at st. Mary's I usually put in uh, there's a park here right in the city uh, but usually I don't I don't put in here because I don't like the parking but I put in here today um, it is a beautiful you get the you get the uh, view of the city going out And you get the sunrise going out. I'm not getting to do what I wanted to do today. I wanted to uh, use some fiddlers and fish some docks in Point Peter Creek to try to find some new, uh, try to find some new sheep's head spots. So I'm going to just go back and hit the trout again like I did yesterday. So that's the plan. waiting on the trout to get up on this flat for a while when they get up here this time of year it's late October look at that that's a fine trout long and lean every young man's dream she turned every head in town good start you got me singing yeah I got a late start this morning I had to stay up last night and watch the ball game. Braves are playing over in Los Angeles, so didn't want to get up too early. Then my bait shop wasn't open, and so I had to put, that's why I put in a different spot. Uh, it's always something, but that's okay, because I'm retired. That's why it's Nichols Retirement Empire. So you can do retired things like be late fishing. Nice little mangrove. Looks like another pretty decent trout. smaller than that first one but, but that's all right it's all right all right all right all right there he is the looker that trout is a looker I've got these dudes I, I know where they're at now I don't know how many there are but I know where they are. That's not a bad one. That is doable. Very good. Don't tell nobody what just happened. Keep it between us. Now we got the trout. Now we got a trout. There he is, in the sun. Not bad. Of course, if I catch them, that automatically makes them not bad. That makes them good. Just a good day, guys. That's all it is. 
That's all you can say. It's just a good day. It's just a good day. I love it. Surprise trout on the high tide on a little Carolina rig. Not what I expected. I was just trying to wait it out until the tide started going out before I could catch some fish again. I'll take it. Sheep's head. That's the second one of them I've caught. How about that. There it is. Finally got me something I could do some cut bait with. A little pinfish, I cut it up. There's my first cast with the pinfish. Nice keeper red, but I'd like one a little bigger before I keep it. Wouldn't mind cooking one on the grill. Got a big flounder. Nice one. There she is. Absolute beauty. Oh, she's going to the house. Tammy loves to eat. Flounder. 17 inches going in the box. Yeah, I had uh, went to the back of the boat. I put my rod in the rod holder, so I was just letting it sit here. And um, I saw my line swimming, so I went up there and grabbed it. Sure enough, there that flounder was. Seems like most of the time when I catch a flounder, it's something weird like that. It's always something crazy. I wanted to fish for them today, but I couldn't get any mud minnows. Little baby drum. I wanted a big one. But at least that's a drum. Another good flounder. This one looks like it'll run about 14, 15 inches. Put it in the box too. Awesome. Uh, well, that was a good day. That, that second flounder was 16 inches when I measured it. So I caught a 17 inch flounder, 16 inch flounder. Had some keeper trout and uh, keeper red, which I didn't keep those, but I did keep the flounder. And uh, Tammy's gonna be happy. I'm happy. I didn't drive far. I didn't waste a lot of gas. I sat right there in this one little stretch all day long. 
So, not a bad day. I'm glad the trout are starting to cooperate here. Fall fishing in St. Mary's, Georgia. We love it. Thanks, guys.